Hello, hello. I am thrilled to be on with you again to give you another um, YouTube Live. Now, today, YouTube Live is earlier than Friday. I usually try to do it on Fridays, sometimes Saturday mornings, but I have um, a special workshop going right now. And so I have to be on each day. And so I thought I'd get on today a little bit early and try to inspire you. All right. So it's all about fall. Lots of great stuff's happening. Um, hey, 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 it's nice to have you on. Let me see. It's Carver. Hello. Um, so I want to be painting and I'm getting my stuff together for you guys. So please be um, ready for right there. I think I've got that backwards. Let me see. I'm supposed to be able to show you. Hello, hello, all you guys. It's nice to have you on. Um, this is backwards for you, right? So hello, hello. I love it when y'all start popping on. It gets exciting. All right. So I've got to switch this over so that you guys can see it. Right. There we go. All right. So right here. This is the special that's going on for the live today. So I'm going to be showing you fun projects and fun uh, tools and things to use and how fun it's going to be. So yes, it's backwards. It looks good now, right? Okay, from Ocala. Hello. That's really close to me. All right. So this says if you go to my website, onestro.com, and you put in 9 20 50. All right, you're going to get 20% off any $50 or, or larger order. So I'm going to show you all that a couple of times, but it's exciting to get going. Charity, hello. Just saw you were live. Nice to be here and seeing your fabulous fall projects. I've been throwing some up. Thank you. So if you haven't seen some of the things that I'm doing, you should check it out right here on YouTube. Uh, please subscribe and ring the bell, which means it'll tell you the minute I come on. So we've got lots of newbies coming out here. So I'm thrilled to have you guys. And I am going to show you some really fun things going on. North Carolina having um, a hearing test. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. So let me tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to be sharing with you what's going on on my YouTube channel all the time with you when I'm coming on and tell you that Patreon, I've got some real intense, fun projects that people are going, oh my gosh, Donna Dewberry doesn't look like you. So um, I make it easy, slow, and wonderful to be able to do. You used to watch me on QVC. Awesome. I was in QVC um, Canada, no, QVC UK in Germany. And then we were on in Canada on the shopping channel there. Hey, Jan and HSN and YouTube. So who knows, but now I'm on YouTube <laughs> and TikTok and a few other things. So anyway, um, I just want you to be able to go to my website. But when you go to one, no, not my website, I want you to come to my Facebook site. And when you come to the Facebook, join our group, you have to answer the questions. We have had to like to delay a whole bunch of you because you won't answer the questions. All you have to do is say you found me on YouTube. Um, but we just need to know that you're really a person and we have a private site for all those who want to learn one stroke or are happy about one stroke. So, um, an oldie coming back. Yes. So hello, hello. It's, um, Ami. Ami. Well, thank you. I'm glad to have you back here. Found so many of you coming back on. So, or I never knew I was on still, or even thought I was not alive still. So here I've got like 40 people on since I showed this, the special that I have goes to the 15th. All right, so I'm going to show you some painting today and how fun my products are to use to do the painting. And these are YouTube lives like I, like we do on our Facebook lives. But we've had better results here because Facebook's playing around and giving us a hard time. So let's go to YouTube and they don't give us a hard time. So you're going to put in 9, 20, 50. And if you spend $50 or more, you get 20% off. 
So there you go. So I'm giving that to you and I'll show it again a little bit later. Um, and I'm going to work first with a stencil. It's a used stencil, but this is a wreath stencil I have, but most of the fun of it is all the leaves. And I'll show you some other stencils that make it really fun. But look at this. This project has two stencils on it that I like. So I created the bird stencil. So you just stencil it on and right away, you can use it like a pattern. It takes you just a few seconds to stencil it. The branch is there. The birds are there. And then you paint the birds in the colors you want. And then I did in the background of this, I put the music stencil. So they'd be singing. All right. And that was at our convention we just had. So what I'm trying to share with you is that's the stencil I want, the bird and the music. The music's a long stencil, 16 and a half by six. So if you're going on the site looking, Cam, that's what you would look for, okay? I think there is a 12 by 12, but the 16 and a half by six I know is there. All right, now this is my Paris stencil. So I created this. It even has uh, Maison Dewberry. <laughs> All right, so there's dragonflies, bees, uh, stamps, travel stamps, and just all kinds of fun um, words that are on my Paris stencil. So first thing, this is the wreath that I'm going to, I didn't know I had one that's new, right here. So this wreath, I could make it 20 by 20 on an Ikea pillow. I stretched it 20 by 20. I want you to know that you could just use this everywhere where you're not sure where to put a leaf. So uh, so many people say, how do I know how to do the leaf when my fingers go out this way and out that way and follow the vines? But here's some leaves that you could just take any leaf um, branch here and just put that on your painting. And then you just stroke right on top of it because you know where it's going to go. That one too. This is Donna's wreath stencil. So we put ornaments all around it at last year's convention, one stroke convention. We put um, just spring, uh, spring items around it. There's all kinds of um, Easter, fall colors, anything you want. So I just made it for these leaves that are going to really help you. So now I'm going to go down and start uh, painting. I have to turn my camera so I can paint for you guys. And I want you all to see what's going on. Okay. So I have to flip it around a little bit. Oops, there we go. And make sure that I'm not upside down, which I am right now. All right. I just flipped it so I wasn't upside down and then it put me upside down again. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take my, our stencil brushes right now are out of stock until the end of the month. We've got so many of you guys that are getting these new synthetic nylon bristles. All right. They are killer. But I have some other stencil brushes. They're just not this quality. All right, so I'm going to come in here and get, this is a metallic, a multi-surface metallic, which what's good about that is this can go in glass, metal, ceramic. All right, now I want you, this paint can, I, I want you to see that I'm just, oops, let's go up a little bit higher. I'm just going for a tone on tone in the background, and I've got a fun holiday candle painting I'm going to do here, okay? So let's go back and forth, back and forth. All right. All right. You got to go and wipe it off on a paper towel. Okay. So now what's going to happen here? I am using this stencil different than what I just told you. I told you you can use this and then you're going to rub off each time so that you don't get mucky muck underneath. Okay. No matter how many times I tell my students, you turn left, you turn right. Um, and you check it out to make sure you're not getting mucky. See that? All right. No matter how many times I tell my students, they still don't go to the paper towel. So see the paper towel right there? I'm going to pick up paint. I'm using the biggest, the number 20 brush. I'm going to go over here, rub it off some, and then come here and start doing this. Now, this is what I wanted. I wanted elegant tone on tone background. All right, and the left, right. Oops, I got a little bit too much on that. All right, now I am going to put a candle in the middle of all this and some pretty flowers. I just want to share with you how fast this can be. Now imagine when you're using the stencil that you're doing all the different colors of leaves. 
All right, that's to inspire you. And then you can leave it like that or you can come back and paint it, okay? So now see, we've got this elegant background. All right, so see, I just wanted that to be in there. I'm left-handed. <laughs> okay, so I made sure I was everything else right, but now I'm left-handed. So I can fix that. Now to clean this brush, you're going to rake it just like this in your basin, okay? Raking it down. I'm teaching a fun class at 4 o'clock today for anybody who's new that wanted to come on and learn some methods about one stroke, which I'm I'm happy to do this new program. It's called Discover. All right, so let's go down here and flip my hand. I have to flip, flip I'm upside down, then I have to flip my hand. All right, so now I'm right-handed, and you lefties probably like this. <laughs> so this is the thing for YouTube to share with a lot of people and help us grow. Um, you need to, if you would, put thumbs up up there. We've got 12 people on thumbs up right now. So I just wanted you to see that we're going to come right here with a 16 flat. I have one stroke brushes here that are wonderful. And these are the go-to if you're a beginner and you want to start painting with me. These are my 10 piece value pack. They're less than $20. So if you spend 50, you're going to get another 20% off that. How cool. All right. Now I can take chalk and draw this. Or I could just come right here and pull it straight down. Straight down. Hopefully I'm getting it straight down. Now I need some medium. See how dry that is? All right. I'm trying to make it exciting so you guys will come on and try it and feel like I can do that. Right? Okay. So I'm going to come back here again. This is just craft art. These are multimedia paper pads. With all different colors okay so i'm gonna i keep getting larger and larger it'd be better if i took a ruler and pencil but i just come and wing in it for y'all guys today all right so i'm gonna come right down here and fill it in in the middle i want this elegant can you tell light colors just received my new stencil brushes yay i'm so glad all right so i'm gonna pull it straight down now, what's going to be pretty, especially if you even do a darker background, is all that gold metallic. Now, there's rose gold, all kinds of metallics on my site. So go check them out. I think you'll love them. They just, there's a color shift, which shifts the colors, makes it really cool. All right. So this got smaller as it came down. So let's get a little bit bigger. Okay. So not too hard. All right, so now I'm going to come here and get some gray. All right, so I've got the, oh, let's tell you what color I've got. I've got the linen, and then I added a little bit of gray here. All right, so I'm going to come in here and put a little bit of medium, a little bit of gray, working that medium in. And I can do this a little bit later, but I'm going to go ahead and do it right now. And so what that is doing is shading the darker side. Okay, all right. Now, I'm going to come in here with just white and do the other side. All right, so I'm going to come in here with a little bit of white, come right up the side. And Teresa being on here, she reminded me the other day to have wax dripping. So... Okay, so now we're going to put a little wick in here. So we'll put some gray right here, pull a wick, and we'll put a, a light in there. Okay, so now let's get some of this green. I want to mute it. Everything's muted, right? So I'm going to pick up some gray, a little bit of the linen and and this is classic green so it's a muted green i want to work this in you see that work it work it work it that's your 16. all right now what i want to see here is are you guys waiting to see i'm going to make it more muted i have been doing so much orange lately 
<laughs> I want to do uh, some colors that aren't so so fall colors but we can use some of them in here now see i went over here with this brush and i picked up a little bit of linen on the gray edge of this all right now let's come in here and make some of this darker gray and green with the light in the middle let's do that okay so we're going to come right here See, I've got the brush flat, and then we're moving it. So watch this. One, two, three. We go out and out and be sure if you're on and you've never tried this, you want to get some tools or some brushes or some paint so that you can paint along with me on my YouTube channel. Be sure to put in the code that I'm giving out today so that, <laughs> thank you, so that you can get some discounts 20% off any $50 or more order okay so let's let's take here wiggle wiggle all right so now I do have leaves out there you see so I can leave I can miss a few of those I've just got the one brush right now but you can pull out any brush that you want fall colors are so beautiful and complimentary but you read my mind see i just want something a little different today all right so now what happens is we're going to come over to this side and look at this i'm just putting some really muted but then let's come over here Lay your brush down, wiggle the outside edge while the brush is flat, and then pull it down, okay? Now, did you see I flipped that brush? So let me show you again. So, all right, I'm going to do a Y. All right, so I'm going to start on this side of the Y, and I wiggle and then stand up, and then I can come on this side of the Y, so I went from there and just moved the brush to here. So let's pick up a little bit more of that lighter color. Now see the medium? We don't use water, so I'm going to dip into that clear medium. Now that medium is the fluff that's inside the paint without pigment in it. Now what am I using for the newbies? You need to know that this is... Um, Thank you for sharing your talents. Thank you. This is multi-surface paint. All right. It's folk art multi-surface. And I'm one of their designers for their company. And I have been with them for almost 30 years creating one stroke product for them and sharing all kinds of fun um, product line of mine and loving their paint. Okay. So now... I need to stop right there because I'm going to do um, a couple of flowers and I need to put some leaves around it, okay? Now, what I want you to see is those are just some pretty flower leaves that we need to come out further. Thanks for the thumbs up. Tells YouTube that you like what I'm sharing. Uh, thank you, Shauna. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I want to show you. Let's, let's go in here with some Juneberry and linen juneberry and linen okay but first let me get another brush first let's put some pueblo out here first and we will put oh, let's go with those leaves i can put some more we can put another one right here okay so this is what we're going to do first we're going to come in here with this Juneberry. Let's see, I've got the brush flat again. One, two, three, wiggle and lift. All right, so when I'm stroking those one, two, three, I'm blending the color in. Okay, I just covered up some pretty leaves that we'll come back and add some more further out. All right, so let's keep getting Juneberry. And I'm going to come up here and we're going to make a pretty little flower. Okay, so see this rose? Let's get some more Jimberry. I wanted it to mix a little better. 
but it is because the Pueblo is so wet, it's giving me more Pueblo. That's okay. We'll just come in with some that don't have so much Pueblo. So you see I'm doing chop, chop, chop little strokes. All right, now never give up <laughs> when you're alive. Lost my coupon too. Think I need to give up. No, Lynn, don't give up. All right. You can always write me on Messenger, Donna S. Dewberry on Messenger, Lynn, and say, I lost my code, help. But you can go back and watch the lives. The lives are all still on my channel. Okay. And if you are using a code on Facebook, those lives stay on for 30 days on YouTube. They just stay on. Okay. So look, we're going to have this one heading down. Okay. So look what happens here. All right. I'm going to wipe this off because I've got too much of the Pueblo. All right. And I want more June berries. So, so I'm facing it downward. Okay. All you have to go to my website, pick what you want. And when all you have to do is when you get ready to check out, just put my code in there. Because we can't help you if you check out before the code. Because so many people say, hey, can you go put it in? We can't. And then we cancel the order and it charges. and So we just need y'all to put it in. Okay, can y'all see that? Look, uh, you have to have dark and light together to get my shading, all right? So dark and light together, and we don't use water. That's why I'm using medium. I only use water to clean my brush and to use my liner. So with everything else, we want to use floating medium because it keeps it wet on wet, thick paint, all right? Isn't that pretty? I think that's a pretty color. All right, so I'm going to wipe that off because it looks like I got mud. And then come in here and get some more. Here's a bud. Look at this. See how easy that is? So now I'm going to show you. Let's put another bud over here. All right, so I'm doing Juneberry and Lennon. And I'm going to go one here to there. All right. So now watch what happens before accidentally running into your video. I had no clue about one stroke of folk art multi-surface. I'm now ordered stencils, brushes, paints, and videos. Oh, thank you so much, Lisa. You just made my day. Thank you. Thank you. And I keep seeing people from my old times on QVC. And so it's real to see and, see and reconnect. Now right there. So see that? The brush has to be flat. All right. Thank you, ladies, for calming me down. <laughs> All right. So it's good to be passionate about something. Okay, now watch this. Now here's the line again. I'm going to go down, 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 and back up. All right. So you make a U there. Okay, now let's make a bigger U. All right. And let's touch and lean it out and come across. Dip. Thick paint, more paint than you ever imagined. All right. And then I also show you, if you go to my tutorials, I show you how to use all my tools, guys. So here's the tools. Let's come up a minute and show you. All right. So you have the brushes. This is your go-to set. You can do the palette if you want, and it holds my phone plates. You might have seen me do that. The, these are the brushes. They're the 10 piece most used on the Dewberry brushes, and they're quality brushes for less than $20 for all 10. All right. Then you have my brush basin. I need, we need bigger brush basins to come in there and clean them out. The water goes this high on both sides. All right. I also have practice strokes for free online right here on YouTube that teaches you how to use all these tools. All right. So this is the double loader. The hardest thing with one stroke is learning how to load without being muddy. And so that's why people whine and cry and they don't have enough paint. OK, no brushes compared. Thank you. You are good salespeople. <laughs> all right. So we put our floaty medium in the middle and we double load in here. And I and I show this a lot on practice strokes. 
All right, so then we have a lid that you can close this up. There's a lid that goes on top of here so the floating medium doesn't run everywhere. You can store your paint in here. The double loading is the most important part. You store your paint in here, so dampen this, lay it here, and it keeps the paint fresh for like 30 days. I don't know that because I always use my paint, but teachers have told me that, some of my instructors, okay? All right, so this, this, and... We have a palette. Oh, here. This palette is what I put if you're standing at an easel or you just want to organize yourself. Um, it's for a lefty or a righty. Okay. And you can put foam plates in here and just use those. Okay. So all of that, let me show you again. Stencils, stencil brushes, everything are on right here. And I just want you to know, we sold out so many that we, the manufacturers sold out of my A to Z kits that were so wonderful. If you go to my site, I have lots of learn to paint beginner kits, but um, we're still going to be kind of like the later. Uh, we should receive them in the U.S. by the 9th of October and then ship it out. We're trying to notify everybody, um, but it says... Usually we get things out in two to three days, but because of the crazy blessing of the viral that I did, um, we are two and three weeks behind. So please be patient. We, if you, anybody on here can share with you, we're a good reputable company, but we're a family owned company. And it, so we're a small company and we um, do it all ourselves. <laughs> and, um, We've been around for a long time, so some some people think we're Amazon, and I'm sorry, but we're not Amazon. We can't do what they do, but we're trying. Okay, so, so there's some mix of colors, and I'm going to show you. Look how fun this would be. All right, I can put, I'm going to go over all these leaves, darn it. I, need, I should have held them out a little further. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. Uh, you do a great job. Thank you. Well, thank you. I try. And so I've been coming on a lot to show you that we're out here and I'm trying to fulfill our orders. It's kind of like that commercial that says, oh, we went live and the whole company in the warehouse is out there watching the orders start coming in. And then they came in five times more than ever. So how can we judge that? And then the company didn't judge it either. <laughs> so we had the air freight stuff in. And so we're waiting on that right now. And we sold out everything my brush people had of the specialty brushes. All my, all my brushes are in stock. So I have the signature brushes, these, all these uh, one stroke tools and brushes are in stock. There's all the stencils are in stock. So we've been hustling to get them all in. We just that one big kit that I just uh, created recently and been showing y'all. I'm not going to show it to y'all until we got them in stock again. So we put it temporarily out of order. I mean, sold out right now, but we have lots of other beginner kits. So how fun is that? All right. Now, um, we're going to keep coming here and throwing some flowers in there, but I just want you to see that that's using just two colors, but you get all the shading. So here is, let's come over here. I'm, I'm covering up all my stuff underneath, but all right. So then I'm going to come in here with the linen again. And so it's okay to turn this around. So this is going downward. And now I'm on the chisel right on the edge of the brush, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to keep picking up the linen. And you're going to push and lift. Okay, a little bit more. So that's the center of the flower. And then we're going to keep picking up lots of paint, guys. Push, lift. Push, lift, picking up fresh paint that gives you those streaks of color. So the pressure, pressure, lift, pressure, lift is what makes it blend colors. All right. So no pressure, no blending. 
push lift push lift all right and i keep dipping the linen and then look push and curve these are some petals that hang over all right so there you go are you liking that color all right, so we have this right here. If you weren't on, now it's all stenciled on. And I, I was just showing how to put something and make it elegant. Now, now that this is dry a little bit, I want to show you something else. All right, so I'm going to take my stencil again. And I am going, I'm going to be very careful. <laughs> how, how can I do this? Let's see. Let's come right on, on the candle itself. All right, and let's use a smaller one of my stencil brushes, okay? All right, so we're going to go, oops, not that color. I'm losing it. Let's go to the gold. Okay, so we're going to pick up the gold. We're going to rub it in. We're going to wipe it on here. And then you're going to go right on top of this candle. Okay, now I can see where the candle is, so I don't want to go where the candle isn't. Oops. I started going where the candle wasn't. Okay. So I am going to wipe some of this off so it doesn't smear. Okay. I'm going to come down here a little bit more. Hopefully those rose buds, you don't do it this way. You let the rose dry or you use your blow dryer to dry it. And then you come on here. But so what I want to show you is that we can come along here and put some of that pretty detail coming down here. Just showing you there's options to do, right? And I have paint all over me. So let's get that off before I get it all over my piece. Okay, so now let's go back and we're going to go to the green again. All right. Are you liking it? Okay, so this is the floating medium in the middle, that which is the fluff that's inside paint with no pigment in it. I'm going to come in here and do some green. And on the gray edge, I'm going to put some white. All right, so I'm going to come right in here and take some more strokes out here to... Fill this in. Look, you can also come here and get a little bit of Juneberry on the outside edge. Okay. So I'm going to come right here. And let's come right out here. Now you can see I've got dry edges right there. So I'm going to get some medium. And I'm going to come here and roll the brush. I'm going to go back here because that's dry. And I'm going to pull the stem in here. All right, it's one stroke painting. I come on. If you're a member of my, if you subscribe and you're a member of the One Stroke Advantage, you get 20% discounts at all time that you're a member. You also get a lesson every week that is a full lesson where I'm teaching you step-by-step step how to design and paint. This is so cool seeing you on YouTube. I've been with you on QVC. Oh, thank you. Well, I've been here for a while and everybody didn't know it, I guess, because I found so many of you that found me. I'm so excited. All right, so right here, I need a bigger leaf. So let's just go over all that. And that's the beauty of one stroke painting. We put so much paint that you can just go stroke right over everything. I'm going to come here and go and not cover that whole flower. Okay. So thanks for coming on and finding me. It makes me happy, happy. Okay. So we're going to come right in here. I'm trying to use some more muted colors because I've been using so many fall colors. And so I still put some fall in here, but. Um, I liked using some muted down. So this is gray with classic green. These are folk art multi-surface paints. They go in glass, metal, ceramic, indoor, outdoor. It's got a sealer in it. It's wonderful. All right. So look, I'm going to come here. 
and bring this right around so it just kind of brings it up onto the candle this is just art paper it's multimedia paper and i i just use all kinds of colors all right now i'm just use the same brush but what i usually do is just like just like these stencils i use all the different small sizes of different sizes all right so i hope this inspired you to paint some flowers with me all right i'm going to come in here and do a smaller brush let's get a I really like a number six guys the little six small one all right because look what happens i can come in here and a six flat so i really use flats a lot because that's how i do all my stroke work and one stroke painting means that you're doing lots of stroke work and it makes painting so much easier because we blend shade and highlight in each stroke. All right. So I have to tell you, I have seven children and life can get stressful. So what I do is I would, during all the hard times with these kids growing up, I would lose myself into my painting through all kinds of trials in life. Um, and it is better than drugs i tell people my kids go oh my gosh mom don't ever say that <laughs> but i don't mean street drugs i mean drugs for depression and anxiety i said you can sit here and kind of lose yourself into it okay so see those little fall colors i'm popping in there now y'all saw that this is quick and easy having the stencils in the background just imagine it without the stencils it kind of adds detail and guess what when you're out there showing your wares or giving your gifts people will say wow i've never seen anything like that all right because it's different than a solid background it gives you just fun okay so I do one, two, three, usually on all those. I do a peak and two small ones. All right. So now I'm going to, oh, guess what I need to put in there? I'm going to put the light in here. But I want to also show you, um, let's put a little bit of um, yellow ochre, just a teeny bit. All right. So I'm going to get some white. And so it has a glow. And I can put a circle of glow around here. Or I can just go like this. So I'm going to push down and it's a leaf. It's one of my leaves. Okay. So I can come right back in here again. But you need some white. So I'm just going to come back in here. All right. Now one thing. I'm going to come back and put dripping wax. But I want to show you a couple more things. So this is what I'm sharing with you. That's the code. So screenshot it so you have it it's your first live well thank you lorraine i'm glad you're on all right so here is some fun 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 stencils that are my go-to stencils all right i love joy to the world so i just use joy sometimes and then this is you can tell i've used glitter on this one this one, this Merry Christmas is wonderful. The Merry can go up high, the Christmas at the bottom. I've done all kinds of wreaths. This goes right on your shirt. You can take a stencil right on a shirt. And on fabric, our paint's so wonderful. When you do stencil this on fabric, you can wash and dry it and everything, and it's wonderful. But if you have a dark shirt and you do your stenciling and then you slide this over and put it underneath, it makes perfect uh, shirt. And I... I usually do some lives where I show that every 15 minutes I can do a different shirt. I have them on the boards already. This is the um, bird stencil I just told you about. So what happens is, here we go. Right here is the birds. And this was stencil. They have two sizes of birds. I did this size right here. And you can also have them going either way, both ways. All right. And then... Some of these bigger ones are an entire painting itself with flowers and everything around it. So I made sure that these were separate or they were all together in a branch, which is very vintage. All right. So now these others, I don't have samples with it, but I think you'll understand what I do. I use stencils and I create elements of stencils so that you can be 
accomplishing faster. I don't have a, oh, pumpkin. the pumpkins are so easy to paint. It would be easier to stencil. I have a row of pumpkins. I don't know if it's too late for it, but I have a long row of pumpkins and I didn't pull them out because I didn't know if it was going to be, but we have all the way to Thanksgiving. And, and then there's a stencil that says, hello, pumpkin. And so I put the pumpkins across and then the hello, pumpkin can go over. It's cute. All right. I made these for like the mason jar. I made a snow globe out of this one. You can make the jar wider and taller. So you stencil this on and all. And so these are for shelves of bottles and with flowers in them. And I have like six packets that show you all holidays and all for jars, all lavender ones, all fall ones. Uh, and this makes that painting packet perfect for you. Then this is what I just realized. We have, this is a larger buffalo plaid than this one. All right. So we have both of these available. This 16 and a half by six, 12 by 12. Now, what I want you to see is I use this, you can see the colors. I use it for baby blankets and baby paintings. I use this during the spring. I do the same thing during the fall and Halloween. I put orange pumpkin, um, pumpkin in the back. On, I do all kinds and then black buffalo and red for Christmas. These are our best sellers besides mine. All right. And this is cherry blossoms. So 12 by 12 and the small ones make really great backgrounds. And so I, I'll do blue and white background and paint sunflowers all over it. I've done it here on a live for y'all. This I just use that light green in the back. All right. So stencils are the hottest thing you guys have been buying and I've been demonstrating them. So go watch some of the other lives. OK. Um, hello from North Car South Carolina. All right. Then the books. Books are hot right now. And to make the spines and and the ed paper edge and getting the dimension, uh, you can stack all these up all the way to the small ones and make a tall stack and put flowers with it. If you go on Pinterest, you'll see tons of books with bows and stuff. And I made a crystal cut glass. I put these books on there with a little vase on top of them. And so I have sizes that fit into a painting. And then I have the books that are the painting. And this is the second most selling one which is be kind, be humble and kind. And you can leave the bee off and put one of the bees in its place and um, um, be grateful. And so I have the small bee and the large bee and I don't have it right here, but I demonstrated it. So go look at my jack-o'-lantern live and I'll show you how fun that these are. And then this is what I did today. So that's all I'm gonna show you today with stencils, but I have many, many stencils. And we have stencil brushes. These are sold out right now until um, middle or the third week in October. And so um, if you keep checking it, you'll see when we take the same thing with our other um, painting kit. Look at some of the beginner painting kits. They have paints, brushes, and how-to packets all in there on our site. Okay. Besides the one I've demonstrated for you guys in the past. All right. So now let's, I was coming back to finish up. What was I going to do? Oh, I'm going to do some curly cues on here. So I hope you like the lighter color that I was working on. I hope that did. I gave you some creative ideas. Oops, my shirt caught. Wouldn't let me go. All right. So it got sputtery. This is really dry paper, this is. So I just go in the store and run my hand around all over it and make sure it's a smooth paper. This has got a lot of texture. Some companies sent me some of this and I've used it anyway, but it is a little harder. You gotta put a lot of paint. Now, if you don't feel like you're good enough to do the curly cues, I want you to see that if you just come here and wave it, that looks good too. All right. And so you feel comfortable with doing it. All right. There was something I'm not remembering that I wanted to do on here when I came back and I did. Maybe if y'all remember what I said. No. Okay. So, and also this script liner is the only one I use water with. And I just want you to know on this one, I am 
going to sign. And when I sign it, I do all downward strokes. That's why I use some all caps sometimes. Hello, hello. So look at this. Quick and easy. We just showed you how to do some different colors than our typical fall colors. I want it a little bit more elegant with the background in the background. So just imagine the darker that gets, the more that the background shows up. But I like a background like in framing this that you would walk by and say, ooh, this got metallic in it. All right. So fun, fun, fun. And we have sparkles. Dragonfly glaze is wonderful. We've got that um, on our site too. So check out and come see us. And I'm going to be upside down, so I'm not going to turn it. Never mind <laughs> if I flip it. All right. Thank you for being on with me today. I'm not going to be on tomorrow. I did my live today. Here's my special. Um, anything on the site, the onestroke.com site, you're going to put in this code when you finish purchasing, put in, in everything you want. Then there's a place for the code 92050, which gives you 20% off. Um, nine tells me it's YouTube, 20% off, $50 or more. Okay. It expires on the 15th of October. Okay. So check it out. I am here at farm relaxing in a chair under a 200 year old tree with two cats in my lap and two horses in the pasture. And I'm enjoying every minute of a watching. Oh, thank you so much, sweetie. I'm enjoying every minute of a watching that new paint, <laughs> neat paint. I get it. I knew what you meant, sweetheart. And I've been watching you doing lots of goodies recently. All right, guys, we will see you next time. I hope you enjoy. Check out, I've done some crazy new paintings. Come join. My Facebook group is called Donna Dewberries with an app, official one stroke group, because there's lots of Donna Dewberry pages. So we want to make sure that you get the official one. And when you, it's a private site, so you have to answer the questions or we can't let you in <laughs> and you will love it. They are so such wonderful artists on there, all one strokers and we inspire and encourage you. So come join us. All right. Till next time. Keep painting.